Hey everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the latest DLC for Unity of Command 2. Now this is the Desert Rats DLC. It came out about a week and a half ago and there's over 20 scenarios in a linked campaign or you can play the scenarios individually. In this DLC you play as the Allied Forces and as you might guess by the name Desert Rats, it's World War II. However, there also are some scenarios in Ethiopia as well as Greece. So before we jump in, we're going to play a scenario today. We're going to play the second scenario in the campaign tree. But before we jump in to kind of get a sense of the scope and scale of what we're looking at, let's take a look now at the campaign tree. So you can see it behind me here. And the first two, we have the Epirus Offensive and then Compass One. Now, I, I confess, I'm new to this series, so I'm kind of learning my way as I go along here. But I should be able to show enough to kind of so you'd be able to get a sense whether this might be a game that you would enjoy playing and kind of talk about some of the major features and some of the major mechanics of the game. But there's a lot to this. So uh, you got a Pyrus Offensive, Compass 1, Compass 2, and then we can see there's, oh, I think, 21 different scenarios. Uh, many of the names you'll probably recognize, like kind of places like Defense of Tobru Tobruk, Disaster in Cyrenaica, We've got Ethiopian Blitz, Disaster in Greece, Exporter Crusader, Second El Alamein, El Aguila, Lancer Catalyst, and then you notice here towards the bottom that the campaign track branches out a little bit. And I think this depends on how well you have to do well enough to be able to get this alternative track. So you've got kind of basic objectives in any particular scenario, and then you have your kind of advanced objectives. And if you get enough of those, the bonus objectives, then you can unlock some different campaign, different tracks in the scenario itself. So with that in mind, let's jump in now and take a look at our first scenario. We're going to play the whole thing through. It's This one's not a long scenario, so we'll probably take 20 minutes or so and kind of go through here. Now I'm going to continue my campaign, which is I've kind of aptly named Desert. What we're looking at right now is basically the conference area of the game. And the campaign is carved up into different segments that are punctuated by conferences that happen at various points, usually after anywhere like one to three to four different scenarios. And that's where you can kind of make some tweaks to different card decks that you have, as well as your command operations and your headquarters and things. And what we're looking at right now, however, is the map. Now, there's the Pyrus Offensive, which I've already played. And then down here is the Compass Offensive, where we as the Allied forces are going to try to push the Italian forces out of Egypt. And this is called Compass One. Now, I did play this earlier, but I had the UI so small and a couple things off that I decided I'm going to remake this video and play it again. So we're going to jump in and get started. And you can replay any scenario in the campaign. I think I lost three points off my victory score up here. It was 134 and now it's 131. Um, by doing that, but you can replay any scenario. So if you lose, you get mauled or you're not happy with your results or you want to try something, you can play that again. So let's jump in now and start this scenario. We'll read the outcome. We're going to play through the whole thing again because it's not super long. It's I think nine turns, but if all goes well, we'll finish it uh, well. Bef we'll finish it hopefully before then. Now, here's our briefing. So Middle East Command Dispatch. For months, the Italians have remained dug in and static near Sidi Barani. We are massively outnumbered, but Middle East Command assesses that the better mobility and training of our forces will make up for this. Your orders, our orders, are to conduct deep penetrations of the Italian front line while encircling and destroying their units. Note number one, in this campaign, you, com you command your forces generally at the brigade level. This simulates each unit can accommodate only five steps and two specialists. We'll talk about that as we get into the game here a little bit. Uh, and then we do have some escarpment and ridges to deal with. Welcome to the desert, Commander. Let's get started. So we're going to continue that. We'll get rid of our little hint here. Alrighty, so we can see here our basic setup. Our forces are to the, the right side of the map, or the east side, and the Italian forces are on the west side, or to the left as we look at the screen here. We have two objectives, take Sidi Barani and isolate Bardia. So Sidi Barani right here in the middle center, and then if we come over here, isolate Bardia, basically cut it off. We're going to try uh, a couple of, we're gonna try one general attack, which we're gonna try to have our armor and this support brigade cut south of the escarpment because you can't attack across this escarpment. Push along this road and try to get to Bardia quickly. We're gonna to try to have our infantry push in from the east, cut off Sidi Barani, cut off Bukbuk, Buk, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, and then push on to Solemn and Bardia. With luck, 
we can get them by the sixth turn and meet all of the objectives here. Now, before we start on turn one, we have 205 prestige points. We can spend them on various attributes. So we're going to do a few things here to upgrade this. Our fourth armored brigade, we can come down here and click on deploy paid step and we can add an armor step for 40 prestige so we're down to 165 on the top and that's going to give our armored tanks here five steps and basically units in the games have it works in a step system you're going to lose steps in combat you can suppress steps in combat just like you can do to the enemy as well now i want to come in here to our 11th indian brigade and let's give them some engineers and basically what i'm doing here is i'm picking from a list of specialist functions in this case and you can see that now engineers have been added here on the right hand side to the 11th Indian Brigade. And what they do is they allow you to break down entrenchments and kind of attack across rivers and things like that. Let's take this other 7th Indian Brigade here and they've got Matildas as a specialist kind of force now. Let's give them these Gurkha rifles, which are expensive, but I think it gives them a lot more firepower. We have 25 left. Let's give this Support Brigade Marmon Harrington, which is, I'm not quite sure what it is, but let's just spend it and try. Okay, so now we've made our preparations for turn one. We are going to click the end battle preparation phase, get a little splash screen here, get a little bit of a helpful tool tip that we don't need, and it is time to get started. We're going on the offensive here. Now, we also have on the left hand side, we have a total of five naval bombardments, I think one per turn. And then per turn, I think we get two air attacks. So let's start to think about what we want to do. I think the first thing I'd like to do, ah, oh, see, now, okay. So if we click on our 16th Infantry Brigade here, and we then hover over this uh, Italian armored unit, let's zoom in on it a little bit here, hover over this Italian armored unit, we can see that clicking on it like that it's going to give us three colon zero and the left number is basically how many casualties we would suffer the right number is how many casualties they would suffer basically expressed in a term of step losses and it's an estimate and i think the real battles can have things turn out a little bit differently part of the problem is that they are in, uh, kind of um, entrenched right now so we want to try to flip those odds a little bit here so let's click out of this and let's bring in now our air force and see if we can hit those tanks with a little bit. Good. Now we suppressed one unit there. Let's click out of air. Now if we go, it's two to one. We're starting to even things out a little bit here. But we're also, we can do... So the other thing to mention, and we'll talk about it as we go through, there's command and control and there's supply. In command and control, if we click on this headquarters here, oops, I want to undo that move, let's escape here. If we click on our headquarters here, this dotted white line shows us the command and control radius of our headquarters. And right now that we can see that all of our units are effectively within this command and control radius. The nice thing about that is that down below on the bottom of the map, as I'm hovering over these things, is that this gives our units abilities to execute special functions. It could be a logistical instruction, like emergency supply, it could be engineering, like repair a bridge or entrench. It could be operations, like a set piece attack. So these uh, bottom operations become quite powerful, and each one of them has a number beside it. For example, set piece attack has a little two there, and we can see that our Western Desert Forest Headquarters unit has a total in the bottom right of six command kind of operational points, command points, as I guess they're called, out of six. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this 16th Infantry Brigade. And we're going to click on a set piece attack. A set piece attack is good for breaking down enemy fortifications. So we're going to click on that now. Once pressed, one breached. We got 10 experience. And that should reduce their entrenchment. Now, I think, if we bring our tanks up here, it's still going to be 2 to 1. Hmm. That's not ideal. So things aren't going quite as well as they were last time. But what if we come around? Oh, that's better. If we come around from the side here. Ah, we hit an enemy unit. Not good. Okay, let's go next to him. But rather than attack, let's do one more air attack and see if that helps. Three suppressed. Okay, so that might give us... Now we've turned it in effect. So our double air attack here means that we're going to lose one. We're expected to have no losses. They're expected to have three. Four KIA, overrun, breached. We have successfully eliminated that unit. So you can see how these specialist units your support and everything like that can really lead to a much better offensive here. Now, can we, through expanded movement, get this going further? It doesn't look like we can. I was hoping we could make it to the shores here, but it doesn't look like we can. 
This, however, let's get our support brigade going up here. We can see this blue kind of diamond here. That means we've spotted an enemy unit here. So let's get our support brigade up there. Zero to two, we'll take that. We're just gonna attack right away. We're in a hurry, we gotta get going. 10 experience, that pushed them through there. Okay, so we're pushing along a little bit here. Now we've also got these tanks back here. Let's get them pushing up through the desert and they can. They should be able to go further. They can. Let's send them right here. Now, this unit can't really do much more. Darn it, I wanted to make it to the coast, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to. Perhaps we can go here. Try that, and can we attack at one to one? That's not the best odds there. Can we go any further? There's an extended move that uh, is highlighted in blue that you'll be able to do. Like if we can see it, yeah, we can't see it here. Let's see. Yep, those are all good. Yeah, if we do like that, we can see an extended move in blue. We'll get these units farther along. I hesitate to come too far uh, to the west here, though. So let's go here, and I think we do have one more, perhaps. Of these, no, set piece attack, they can't use it. Oh, because they moved. How about down here? Can we do a set piece attack? We can. Let's do that there and see if we can hit this unit here. Pressed, breached, good. Will that give us better odds there? One to one, still not very good. All right, ideally I would have liked to have isolated City Barani on this first turn. That's what I was able to accomplish last time. But unfortunately, we didn't quite have the same success we had before. The other thing we're going to do here is take a look at supply. So I've clicked on our supply source. And now we up top, we have a number three. We have three trucks available. And we can see this green band here basically shows us the extent of our supply network. And we've got these red square. We've got our units, these diamonds here. These means these units are going to be out of supply. However, we have three extra trucks. So we're going to click on our supply network and we're going to Scroll up, click on that, and scroll up. I'm going to put all of our trucks here, which basically is going to expand our supply network, making it more likely more likely that all of our troops are going to be in supply. So that's good. We'll kind of accept that. The last thing I want to do is we're going to push forward with our command operations here. We still have two left. Could we do anything with those command operations? One to one. Nah, I don't, I don't like any of that there. Do a faint. I think we're okay. We're going to put... Oops. Undo that. Let's um, push... Oh, undid our supply too. Let's get back up to four. There we go. You can undo most things unless they give you information you didn't have before. We're going to push forward with our headquarters right up here so we stay better in supply and control and that's I think one of the things that I'm trying to learn better with this game is supply and command and control are critical to effective operations and I'm not very good at it yet as well as being able to use these specialist functions much better still not very good at that either let's actually we've got a naval bombardment here let's not waste that let's pound here these units down here that actually might give us a pretty good attack down here come to think of it one to one still. We're gonna wait, because I Yeah, I think that's gonna screw up our chance to get the bonus points, but the bonus objectives in time. Because really we need to cut off City Barani to be able to do that and take these out of supply. But we'll have to be we'll have to settle for it. We'll still still, maybe we can make it. Alright, so we're gonna end our turn here. Go to turn number two. And we're not doing as well as I did on the last time. Alright, three units supply disrupted. That's okay though. Okay, so now let's see if we can advance to the sea. There's going to be a unit in there, and I think we're going to pound it pretty hard here. Let's, do we attack first? No, we're going to cut over here. There's our unit. So we got to get this unit out. Now we will have cut these units off. We can see the white exclamation point beside these Italian units, which means they're cut off from their command and control, but they're still in supply, which is unfortunate. Now this unit down here is our armor. I want to push forward here too. Okay, let's let's think a little bit here. We don't want to attack there, but we do want to try to take City Brani. Let's hit them with air first. One KIA, nice. And let's hit them with ocean bombardment. Let's see if that'll put it. Ocean bombardment seems pretty effective. Three suppressed. Now it's one to one, which is closer to what we want. But if we pull our tanks up, still one to one. We might just have to take that. See what we get here. Two to one, but they should be able to do a set piece attack. Let's do that. Let's see if we can whittle them down. Leveled up to veterans. Nice. Does that help us there? One to one. These are some tough units. 
would have been so nice to cut them off from supply before this. Uh, let's push one to one still. I'm going to think for a second here. All right, I think where we can be at least effective is right here. We're going to have our support brigade attack this Italian infantry. Should put a pretty good hurt on it. It does. And then we can push them forward really far here. So zooming by this unit, we're going right down, hopefully to City Omar and then isolate Bardia. In previous experience, there doesn't seem to be too much in the desert south of the escarpment. So we can kind of be aggressive down here. Now, this armored unit has no supply, but we can do emergency supply on it. I don't think we need to. Let's push them right here. Hopefully finish this unit off. Excellent. Good. Ah, upgrade. So we don't have any prestige, so we can't spend it for the seven command points, which would be nice. But we can get specialized recon in force. We'll do that one. That'll help. Now, can they move on? They can. They can go right through here and gobble up all those prisoners. The little blue circles that left over that aren't units are prisoners, and that's nice. Okay, so we're making good progress here to the west. We're not making progress fast enough down here to the south. Now, we do have a card here. Let's see how those work. So the Spitfire... Air Recon. I'd like to see what's here over Book Book to see if there's anything in there. There is. Oh, there's a couple of infantry units here. That's interesting. Hmm. I'd like to ideally let these units sit without supply for one turn so we can kind of reduce our odds on them and not, for, not suffer as many casualties. I think we will do that. Let's push our armor up here and see what we get. One to one. We do have an air attack, though. Let's drop air on them. Too suppressed. Does that help us out? Zero to two. We'll take that. Two KIA. Good. That's not a bad start for us there. And this unit is out of supply. But down below, we'll notice that it's still in command and control. We have this logistical option that says emergency supply. We're going to do that now so it's in supply this whole turn. And that's pretty good. Now, we want to get... The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about is this unit, I don't think they'll be able to sneak around us like that. How's our command and control looking? It's looking pretty good. And how's our supply looking here? Looking pretty good. The only thing that'll be out of supply is that recon, our kind of support brigade up at the tip here. But we should be okay there. And ideally what we want to do, we want to take City Barani. That's also a supply depot so we can move our supply chain up there, which will shorten the distance and keep all of our units in supply. But our pacing, however, is not very good here. I did I did better the last time. I reached the ocean on turn one. These units are still pretty strong. I don't think we're going to be able to take Solomon Bardia by turn six. Could be a tough order here. Unless we get a little bit more aggressive. And I hesitate to do that. I don't want to suffer losses yet. Unnecessary. Yeah, we're going to... We're going to end our turn here. And let's... Might be a little bit too cautious. But I think it'll help us out. They, oh, they evacuated. They fell into City Barani. They moved up. Their headquarters moved back. And now it's our turn. Kind of makes sense. All right. Two supply units. Supply disrupted. We know that. That's okay. Now they are out of supply. This should help. Ah, oh, one to one. Zero to three, though. We're doing pretty good here. I think it's time for us really to, to kind of collapse this pocket. All of our odds are getting a little bit better. I'd love to be able to take City Barani and finish these guys off. Let's drop some air support on them. See if that helps. One KIA, that's good. One to one now. And let's bring out the, the battleships here. Firing here on City Barani, trying to take the city. Three suppressed. Zero to three. So this is going to be a much better attack for us now. Let's, and they're not even entrenched, which is good. Let's do that. KI overrun. We pushed them out. We can push in and we've taken the city. Excellent. This is good. Now we can really start to collapse this pocket. Let's bring our tanks up and hit this unit here hard. KIA overrun. That's good. Could still go, maybe. Yeah, let's push him forward. Our armor just driving on here. 4K overrun. We are collapsing the pocket. Very nice. Let's take those prisoners. Leave that there. Now we should be able to... I think we're going to need air support here. Let's get the air on Makatila. Three suppressed. That should give us a little bit better chance here. One to two, we'll take that. Our engineers can do a pretty good job. Two KIA, leveled up, veteran, pushed him back. Good. Let's push through now into Makila and finish these guys off. Excellent. Done. Collapse the pocket. 
50 prestige because we took City Barani. Now we can go up to seven command points. That'll give us one extra command point. We can see down on the bottom right that our uh, headquarters has gone up to seven points now. Making good progress. That was a good turn. Let's push. Now, basically, we've collapsed this pocket and done everything we need to. We're going to start to remove our supply, move our supply forward. So I'm going to take this down to two trucks and we're going to confirm that. Next turn, we'll be able to move two of them up to City Barani, and then the turn after that, we'll move two more. We also want to take care of our supply problems. We're going to use emergency supply on our armor in the desert here. That will help them out. And we might want to use emergency supply one more time for these 11th Indian Brigade, but I'm not sure yet. Let's see how far we can push forward. We can attack again with that unit. That would be nice. We don't have any bombardment, but let's push them up here next to Book Book. But our armor, how far can they go? Nowhere. They are exhausted. How about our 11th Infantry Brigade? They can go. Yeah, we'll push them up there. We're not going to attack at one to one. We're going to be a little bit choosier because I think what we can do up here. I want to get this unit in supply for sure. Let's do that. Emergency supply to our support brigade. And now I think what we can do is we're going to send them. Let's send them as far forward as possible. Sidi Omar to take that. We're going to push them forward here. All the way. Get up there. All the way up here. Good. They're going to be way out of supply, but they're okay. Now we're going to send our armor down here to the outskirts of Solom, which will cut off the supply of these two infantry units in Book Book and the West. Good. We captured some prisoners there as well. We could attack Solom at one to one odds, but we're not going to do that. I think that's put us in a little bit better shape now. I'm a little bit more optimistic that we might be able to get Solom and Bardia by turn six. It's turn three now. We've cut these units off. This has been a big turn for us. That's stuck. Makila, we got to push these guys forward. We just want to go, go, go now. Extended movement up there. And our 11th Infantry Brigade, let's push them forward here. Now, we want to check our command and control. We've exceeded it up there. I don't want to put our... Gosh, I wish we could go forward one more. I don't think this infantry... This infantry cannot cross the escarpment. So let's see what we can do with moving our headquarters. It's a little bit risky, but I don't think they can come across the escarpment. And if we get them here, I think they're going to pretty much have everything in command and control except for our support brigade. Let's do it. Ah, we've left them out of support there. And this out of support. That's not so good. But I think we'll bring them back in. We'll we'll have to risk that a little bit. We've got three units out. Of, I'm going to undo it. What if we go here? Is that better? Yeah, that's actually better. Well, it gets, the, it gets our support brigade in command and control. We'll risk it. I don't think they can attack across the escarpment. We'll learn something if it doesn't work out that way. And we've got one recon flight left. I think we really need it, but let's send it up over here, over Barty. I think there's a unit in Barty yet. There is. Okay. They can't attack. Good. We'll end our turn here. We're doing okay now. The second turn was good. So they're entrenching in Solom, moving supply around or something. These units now have red exclamation points, this Italian infantry here. So we've cut them off from supply. And, oh, this unit's out of supply too, but going to come to our supply we're going to drop a new supply network down right here and boost it up to two that will be helpful we'll confirm that and that will get our command and control so i think our command and control is out of supply which means we don't have any command and control this turn that kind of hurts but we also want to come back here reduce this one to zero and confirm that then we're going to move our supply up to city barani too okay so we have yet to isolate bardia we should get that now i think we can go this way Oh, we could just take the command. I feel like that would be a good thing to do, is to just take this command and control and capture it. Got it. Okay, that's got to help them, hurt them quite a bit. But we didn't get... Oh, wait. Was that dumb? When do we have to take Bardia? Turn six? It's turn four. Okay. So we have to isolate Bardia by turn six. I thought for a second maybe we were going to run out of time there. That would have been bad. But we're stuck there. That's okay, because we've got them pinned in here. We can come back next turn and isolate Bardia. That's going to be okay. I think command and control, we can't do that. So these units are going to be out of supply, which is not good. 
but hopefully that'll be rectified next turn. Okay, let's see what we've got down here. Can we hit them one to one? Oh, we have uh, air attack here. Let's pound them with air. That should help. Good. Okay, how does it look now? Zero to one. Let's hit them hard with ships. Let's see if we can... There we go. That's looking better. Zero to five. That should hurt. And it did. Excellent. And we can push forward now, opening up this whole supply route to the coast. We can also attack one more time. Let's do that. See if we can finish them off. Good. Can they still move? They can. This will collapse this whole pocket. And potentially, oh, it gives us a naval bombardment support card. Nice. Very good. Perfect. We're not going to use the card yet, though. Just leave that away. Click that out of sight. Good. Now, let's see if we can finish this unit off. Let's bring our engineers up. One to one. We have one air bombardment left. Let's, let's use it. Right on these guys in the desert. One suppressed. That might help. Zero to two. We'll take it. That's good. Two KIA. And pushed back. Good. Let's wait for them. Let's move these guys forward. One to one. That's not such great odds. How about these guys? Zero to two. They're a little bit better. Good. Okay, to overrun, push back into the middle, we can attack again. Zero one KIA, that should finish him off. Now we can push forward here and they can capture prisoners. We can push forward here, they can capture prisoners. And let's bring our Selby force way up close to the coast. Good, that's been, that's a productive turn for us. This unit is in supply and they can fly up here. They're our armor, let's send them right up here. Good. Now, command and control network, everything except that unit looks like it's out of command and control, but I think what we can do is we can move it right up here. And that puts everything back in command and control. And next turn, hopefully, it'll be back in supply. Good. I think that was productive. Let's end that turn there. The only thing I'm worried about is our supply. Our supply network isn't quite up to, hasn't caught, caught, kind of caught up with our offensive yet. One supply unit disrupted. Oh no, good. That's oh, we're still out of supply? Ah, uh, okay, but this will fix it. So we're gonna boost this up now with all of our trucks. It's gonna completely cover our offensive with supply and that will put us in good shape next turn. It's turn five. We got two turns to capture this one here. Can we, we don't have any, the Western Desert Force is not connected. God, that's, supply, it's not good. He's been out of supply for two turns. Ugh! That was a mistake. We should have left it back a little bit. Because now we're just going to have to pound these places. But let's see if we can use overwhelming force. Let's bring an air raid onto Solem. Three suppressed. That's good. And let's hit it with bombardment two. One suppressed. This should be pretty good. Zero to two. Let's do that. Nice. Breached and cornered. And now we should be able to move them out of the way. Up here. Now we should be able to move our infantry in here. Right here. Actually, where's our engineers? Uh, it's our strongest unit. Well, actually, we're going to get a unit. So on these units on the top right hand, on the top right hand side of the screen, we can see those bronze squares that say three plus. The units carry over from scenario to scenario, and that tells us that this Indian Brigade is going to be with us for at least three or more scenarios. So I, at this point, I kind of want to try to get these units as much experience as we can. So we'll have them attack. Good. Looks like there's nothing left. Now we could push into Solemn, but we might want to try to attack Bardia too. Let's hang on here. Now let's, can they get up there? They can't. They can though. Let's push our cell before, or how about... Our second, nope, second infantry brigade can't get in there. I don't want to attack with our support brigade because they're out of supply. We're going to push the Selby force up. Great. We've taken Solem. That's good. Can we attack here? Can't quite see the odds. It's behind that thing. There is a way to get rid of these, and I don't know what it is. Oh, we can't attack across escarpment. That's what it is. Okay, so we're going to have to wait for next turn. But we can take our support brigade and isolate Bardia, which is our second goal. That's good. Gives us 50 prestige. We've got an extra air attack. Let's start pounding the port of Bardia here. This unit can move forward to here. Let's just bring up our second, our 16th infantry brigade, and let's bring up our 11th infantry brigade into Solon. We don't want to give it up again now. Good. 
and our armor up here can come forward. So let's go here. There's not much left for them to do. We've kind of cleaned up everything behind us now. Hopefully, our, well, our headquarters should get back in supply. All of our units should get back in supply. I think we're going to be in better shape. We actually close down here around Bardia a little bit more. And looking pretty good. Let's end this turn. So we have one more turn to capture Bardia to get the kind of the bonus objectives as well. This should get us our... Yes, our headquarters is back in supply. Excellent. Intel recovered. Everything's in supply. This unit's not, though. Okay. That's fine. Seven out of seven. Okay. No big deal. I think we're going to be okay. We are out of... Oh, we could use a card to add a shore bombardment because we used five already. Let's see how it looks, though. I think we might just be able to take the city without it. Where are the arm no attacks across the escarpment. We can attack here. Four to zero. That's not good. So let's uh, do an air attack on Bardia. We've got nothing else to hit, right? Did that do any damage? It didn't. Try it again. Come on, guys. Second run, bombing run. No impact? Still four to zero. We gotta get Bardia. I'm gonna use that card and get the naval bombardment. So we'll burn up that card. And bring out the ships here. See if that does some damage. Two suppressed. It's a little better. Still three to zero. How about you guys? They don't have any... They don't have any supplies, so we gotta get them in a better situation. Let's move them here. How about our armor? Will that work? They can't get there. Really? We're not gonna be able to take Bardia? Ah, uh, that's not good. How about our engineers? They can't go in there. Okay, okay, maybe we can do this. Nope, we can't do a set piece attack either. Uh, because they're out of supply. Can't we do emergency supply? Nope. All right. Bummer. So I think what's happened here, what we're seeing is because our co it doesn't look like we can perform special actions with our headquarters, probably because it was out of supply for two turns. So we kind of screwed up there, and that's what's messing us up right now. These operations would be helpful. Both emergency supply. We're going to pull them back one. See if we can bring engineers one to one. Let's try that. It's not great. One KIA, one breached. Okay, it reduced their entrenchment a little bit. Let's pull them out. Now, can we send these guys back? Nope, can't. How about you guys? Can they go up? Zero to two. Okay, maybe we're okay. I'm inclined to see if our armor would do better. Nope, it won't. Okay, let's send up our seventh infantry brigade, see if they can have any success. That's a little better. Move there. How about now if our armor goes up, can we take it? Zero to two. Let's try that. Okay, cornered. Ah, they're still there. Darn it. Pull them out. How about these guys? Zero to two. Can they take it? Can we move in now? Can we, we should be able to get in there, right? Yes, we got it. We've taken Bardia. That was our last objective. We did it in six turns. So if we look now on the right-hand side, we can see that we've met our major objective, City Barani. We've isolated Bardia, which was the other major objective. We've taken Bardia by turn six, Solon by turn six, and Book Book by turn nine. So I think with that, there's nothing really left for us to do except end our turn. And we should get a victory kind of celebration now. Not necessarily a victory celebration, but victory indication. Objectives completed. You are victorious. All primary objectives have been completed and there are no more bonus objectives left. You can end the scenario now. You may also continue for a few more turns if you want to. Uh, let's uh, end our scenario. We've got 192 points. Supply plus 10%. That's good. Enemy KIA, 19 prisoners. We had a little bit of losses. We lost one specialist contingent there. And then we lost a little bit of infantry, probably attacking Bardia at the end. But we'll take it. That's congratulations. And we head back. Now we can see Compass goes up here and we would be able to continue on. I think we could go to the strategic map now. I'm not sure, but the, the campaign basically continues on after this. Our score is up to 323. And I should mention, too, that the game has four difficulty levels. We were playing on the normal difficulty level which is the second out of four. And you can see with kind of the bonus objectives and stuff like that, that you're kind of, even if you're playing at a particular level, there's always kind of something to shoot for. So I really, I've, I've greatly enjoyed this. This is, you know, Unity of Command again was a game. I, ha I played Unity Command 1 quite a while ago, um, and it felt a little bit puzzly. And I've 
read a little bit about Unity Command 2. I bought the original game, like, it's been out about two and a half years. I got it quite a while ago, but really never had a chance. It sat in my backlog for a while. It's the first chance I've had to dig in with it. This feels very kind of strategically clever to me, not so puzzly, although you're all, again, you're always solving problems and things like that. I really like the supply. Really like the mechanics behind command and control. I don't feel like I yet have a very good grasp of how to use the specialists very well, so I feel like I'm using them ineffectively. But having said that, now playing this scenario the third time, each time I've done time I've done successfully successively better. So I feel like I'm starting to piece things together. But I just I love the mechanics and the systems that flow through this, so I'm looking forward to playing more. Really enjoying this one. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna probably come back maybe to one of the larger scenarios. This one I'm sure is a smaller scenario and they get fairly extensive as you get further into the campaign. So uh, what I'll probably do is play a couple more and then come back and make another video in maybe a, a week or so showing a little bit more of one of the bigger scenarios. I'm not sure we'll play through the whole thing or maybe we'll play, play through over the course of two episodes. Let me know what you think down below. It sure is. I, I'm, 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 I've really enjoyed this one. So thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you again in our next episode and thank you as always for watching.